Well, many say our state lawmakers have the ultimate retirement package. Yeah, imagine getting a huge payout and a yearly pension that's two or three times what you made while you were working. Mm. Well, we elected them and now we're paying for it. State lawmakers are living the high life after they leave office and it's all tax free. CBS 21's Chris Paps is live at the Dauphin County Mobile Newsroom in Harrisburg. And Chris, this sounds just outrageous. Well, people are outraged. Pennsylvania's pensions are financially crippling the state. The system is billions of dollars in debt. Lawmakers are taking home huge amounts of cash and taxpayers are taking a hit. But the question is, can anything be done? The headlines are everywhere and it doesn't look good. Our state faces a giant pension crisis that if not corrected could affect generations of Pennsylvanians. And it's not hard to see why. Through a right to know request, we discovered some incredible pensions. Robert Mello, a Democrat from Lackawanna County, spent 40 years working for the state. When he retired from the Senate in November, he was awarded a lump sum of $331,000. He will also get a yearly pension of $139,000, $25,000 more than he made as a senator in 2010. Then there's Representative Frank Oliver, a Democrat from Philadelphia. He spent 53 years working for the state and also retired in November. When he left office, he cashed in a lump sum of more than $416,000. In addition, he will receive $286,000 per year, a whopping $207,000 more than he made as an elected official in 2010. We are a great government group. We won't settle for good government. We want great government. Tim Potts is a founding member of Democracy Rising PA. We wouldn't have any problem with legislators having a pension if they could do it constitutionally. Article 2, Section 8 of the Pennsylvania Constitution states, Members of the General Assembly shall receive such salary and mileage for regular and special sessions and shall be fixed by law and no other compensation. Despite that wording, the state Supreme Court has ruled legislative pensions are constitutional, which many say is simply perplexing. I don't know how it could be any clearer than that. And a pension is compensation, but it is neither salary nor mileage. Should that anger people? It should. Senator Mike Falmer, a Republican from the 48th District, feels so strongly about the unconstitutionality of pensions, he's opted out of the system. While you want good people to run and, and such, it should never be about was it in for me? Senator Falmer prefers a defined contribution plan like a 401k instead of the current defined benefits plan. Not only does he say this would be constitutional, it would take a huge burden off taxpayers, which is why he is calling for a citizen's constitutional convention. We should change it uh, so that the people through the amendment process so to have the opportunity to say whether we deserve a pension. Historically, there have been those that have suggested that in order to get the brightest and best talent out of the private sector into public service, that you had to offer similar and in some cases significantly greater benefits to those people, including large pensions. Well, not one lawmaker who was in the pension system would talk to us, but they are certainly taking care of themselves in retirement. Not only are their pensions not taxed by the state, but we also found out they get medical, dental, vision, and prescription drug plans for life. When they die, their spouse can carry on that plan, and their children even get it up to 25 years old. All of this in a state that's struggling to pay its bills. Live with the Dauphin County Mobile Newsroom in Harrisburg, Chris Pabst, CBS 21 News.